Hey YouTube, so today I just kind of wanted to talk to you about the difference in Braille displays, like my Braille QXL, versus Braille note takers, like my HEMS Braille Sense 6. Um, just to start off with, just so you know, I'm not sponsored by HEMS, I don't get any kickbacks. The Braille QXL is my works, the Braille Sense 6 is mine, I just like HEMS products. Um, the also kind of important thing to note is each display, especially each display, will have different capabilities. So, you know, if you're looking at a display versus a note taker, look at, you're going to have to compare them because they really do vary from around the board. Now, the first main difference is the cost. Braille displays are going to be less expensive than Braille note takers. They just are. Around the board, the difference is going to depend on the models you're looking at. But we're talking about at least, you know, $1,500 to $2,000 um, difference. Comparing like to like. Now, there are um, cheaper kind of items out there that you can look at by all means. But, you know, for looking at mainly the Braille Sense line and Braille Touches line, that's just kind of the way it goes so if you're on a budget like most of us are definitely look and see if a braille display will do what you need for it to do first before looking at a braille note-taking device a braille display is designed to work more um as like a keyboard and as a display you know braille with other items as alone as compared to a standalone device. Now we're saying that most do have stand some standalone capabilities. Most do not connect to the internet, but if you download a book onto an SD card, you can read off of your SD card, or um, most will have a calculator. A lot will have limited note-taking capability, um, a planner, things like that. Bare bones is kind of how I like to think of it. You can get them in different sizes. Mine is 40 cells. If you want one that's not portable, that's like desktop, you can get those up to like 80 cells. So that might be an option. Now those are going to be really expensive, but that might be an option depending on what you want it for. A bro note-taking device, those can normally will come in like 20 cells and 32 cells. They're a bit more portable. They typically, you can go on the internet with them. They ha have a radio, a daisy player. A lot of them, you know, have speech, whereas the displays don't have speech. If speech is really important to you, maybe you're not that efficient at reading Braille yet, or maybe you just like to go back and forth from Braille to speech then a note-taking device might be a better option for you. Um, if you plan on using your device connected to your computer all the time, maybe a display might be a better choice for you. It really, really just depends on what you're doing. So my first, my first, my first tip was if a display will work for you, that's going to be cheaper, go for that. But my second temp tip is really really know what you want the product to do really really know what do you need what are your absolutes from this product do you need it to talk okay do you not need it to talk okay do you need it to connect to the internet do you need to be able to check your email with it do you not care about that you know do you um do you plan to carry it around in your laptop around? Do you not want to have to bring your laptop but still need to get online? Do you, um, you know, do you need 40 cells? Is there a reason why you, maybe 32 cells drives you crazy? I don't know. But know what you need your product to do. My third kind of piece of advice is Research, research, research. Understand the capabilities of the device that you're buying. Make sure that you understand what it can do, what it can't do. And keep in mind that 
you know, the version of Android it's running might not get updated. That might be the only version of Android that your Braille note taker ever runs, which means when apps no longer support that version of Android, those apps are not going to work on your device. It's, it's the nature of the game. We're always kind of behind the eight ball when that happens. It's just the way it is. You're going to have the full functionality of your Braille display a lot longer, but its functionality is less bear that in mind. Um, I also, so computers, sometimes you can get away with buying like a later generation, like I'm building my own computer. I'm having an i7 instead of an i9 put in my computer. I know that my i7 will work fine. I'm expecting to get probably seven to 10 years out of my desktop computer. You know, bro note taking devices, I don't suggest that. For the difference, for like the $1,500 that you're going to save between like the Polaris and the Brillsense 6, you're, the longevity is going to make the Brillsense 6 a lot more valuable than saving that $1,500. And I get it. I know $1,500 is a lot of money, trust me. But you're literally talking about a difference of years that you're going to get using a newer piece of equipment. I just, I hate to recommend that anybody spend copious amounts of money for something that they're not going to get their use out of. I hate the price of adaptive technology as it is. Trust me. Which really, really takes me back to my first point. Please, 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 please really make sure you know that you need the capability of a note taker before choosing that over a display. You know, just honestly, this stuff's expensive and I just really, really want you all to get, you know, what you need for the most economic cost that you can. I'm going to try to, uh, the Orbit display, I'm going to try to save up and get that. That'll It'll be a while, <laughs> but um, if I do, I'll give you my thoughts on that for what it is, keeping its price in mind. But if y'all have any questions about Braille displays, about Braille note takers, um, anything else that maybe y'all want to see, let me know. You can, of course, leave a comment down below. You can email me, B-L-Y-N-D-D-E-1 at gmail.com. Or you can find me in the Blind and Visually Impaired Support Network group. Or go on Facebook and look up Braille Displays. Look up the Braille Sense. I'm sure Braille Note has its own thing too. Look it up. Ask those people. <laughs> They'll be just as knowledgeable, if not more knowledgeable than I am. Don't be afraid to contact the Braille Note people or hymns or whoever else that you want to contact. Ask them questions about their product. Ask you know, what their financing plans are that are available, you know, find out. And um, as always, thanks for watching and have a nice night.